eagle, right? Number three, going for number four. How's it guys? We are at uh, Langebaan. We're going to be fishing Spree of Valle. I don't know if you can see that there. That's uh, Club Mykonos, the back end of Club Mykonos. And uh, if you go further down that way, that's a spit. The whole thing is the lagoon. And I don't know if you can see out there, that's the mouth or the opening of the lagoon. It's quite big. And uh, yeah, on that end, Saldana. And as you come down that way, that's Saldana Steel, the iron ore uh, side of it. Anyway, and uh, yeah, that down there is Priuvala. We're going to be walking down, oh, maybe two, three hundred meters, and we're going to fish out there. Uh, the north wind is blowing, so it's actually a good wind for this area, and the tide's pushing, so we stand a, stand a chance, but we're going to try. I haven't caught a bronzy here. So, if it works out today, it's going to be my first bronzy here in Spriuvala. So yeah, holding thumbs. Let's go fish. We've chose, I've chosen this spot here because of the color. There's a bit more color in this spot here compared to anywhere else. Plus, it looks like there's a bit of a hole in front of us. Uh, I don't know if you can see there's a dark color line and then it stops and then it forms like a hole here. So from the information I got the other day, um, there was a bronzy that was landed in this area, in, in and about this, this area where we are right now. And um, the formation does look good. Um, I am going to cast the bait out. Uh, with the wind behind me, I'm sure I'll get a good distance and I should land in the zone. Bravo! Tuna circle, 150 pound uh, American fishing wire, leading wire, a normal full metal jacket trace, fixed swivel, fixed sinker, there you go. So I've just put toothpicks through my uh, dingle dangle, so basically it's to hold the bait from sliding, so simple, effective and easy. I'm going to be throwing this uh, Sada Sada cutlet, so I'm going to make nice cutlets out of it. A nice aerodynamic bait, nice big enough to cast it into the zone. I'm going to use my, uh, the softest, medium heavy, 15 foot. And uh, I'm going to use a 6,000, the softest 6,000 with 40 pound um, J braid. So basically it will allow me to get that little extra distance that I need and the wind is going to help me also so let's open pray this does the job i like to cut a couple of thin slices thin so basically you can mold it a bit easier if it's a thick slice you're going to battle so the thinner ones you can manipulate it a bit easier and makes a nice round bait what I've done here, I've put sand on my bait nicely. So what actually happens now with the water being a bit discolored, the fish is going to go in a bit of smell. So when the bait hits the water, you're going to get all the sand dispersing and the sand particles have got blood and smell with it. And it's also going to just disperse with the current and the fish are going to pick it up and they're going to come through. Plus also, my bait doesn't bleed out. The sand actually stops the blood from coming out by the time I go and throw and hit uh, get my bait in the water. So cool. Uh, it wasn't a bad throw, it was a good throw. It's in the zone. And yeah. And I also found a nice path to come up this ledger. So now we wait. But I think to maximize my chances, I'm going to put my second rod out and uh, yeah, let's 
gonna happen here. Yeah. It's just looking too good. Looking good. I've come all the way here to Spriovala. I brought two reels, but I brought one handle. Anyway, this is a new reel from Kings, Kingfisher, and uh, the handle is lying loose in the box. So all what I did in the morning, I just took the reel. Not thinking, I left the handle behind. So anyway, all excited to come fishing. But luckily, we've got the other reel there, exactly the same size. So that handle has to work here now. There's always a way. Good to go, guys. Good to go. Guys, I just had a bit of slack line and the line kept coming in and I wound it up and I had no bait left but uh, I had a bit of bait actually, I actually pulled it off. Um, this is what happened and I got a bit of a teeth mark or tooth mark here, I don't know if you can see. So something picked it and I had all that slack line so teeth marks, shark. I don't know why I didn't connect it, so maybe it was a smaller fish or something, but uh, he was jumping on the bait and uh, it didn't connect. Put a couple of baits out here, wasn't successful. Um, yeah, well we tried, we gave it a full shot. Um, we're going to rush back now to Strand. Uh, the Blu-rays are coming out there at Shark Rock, so Hopefully uh, get a couple of Blu-ray there uh, on light tackle. Uh, yeah, they have been there the other day. My buddy's got, he landed five nice ones. And I think we can have some fun with the light tackle. So yeah, we're gonna head down there now and hopefully get some Blu-ray action to make up for the no-show here today. But anyway, we'll be back. I'll be back. We are at the strand now, all the way from Langaban. We are just in time, the water is nice and low. Uh, these blue rays have been biting on the low into the push. So we're going to put out some baits here. Um, beautiful, even if you don't catch a fish, it's good, weather is good. A lot of people on the beach. If you have a look here, the area, this is called Shark Rock, this area. There's a reef that runs out there and there's a bit of a, a gully in the front here. Um, as the tide pushes, the um, blue rays and all the other little fish that come, they come into this shallow gully here. Yeah? Basically, the water warms up. On the low tide, everything warms up here because it's shallow, the sand warms up. And as the tide starts pushing in, the water in the front here is a little warmer. So that's why all these fish come here, come into this area. Yeah? And um, yeah, we find out that they will come and then they're gone after that. So we need to be at the right time and now is the right time on the dead low and the push uh, yeah i'm going to be throwing sardine and um, mullet chocker double hook like a blob bait also or a blob sardine bait that seems to be working here yeah? we just need to chop and change a bit um, yeah i'm going to use my bg maxil 4000 and my saltest 11 foot 6 power spin uh, I've used this uh, setup here before and it's awesome. These big blue rays, it's a it's an awesome fight. It's a really it's fun using this tackle. Yeah, it's easy fishing also. Um, I think we're gonna get a couple of pulls, yeah. You know fishing. We think we're gonna get pulls when we get here, so I think it's safe to comment on that after the session. I'm gonna be using a ring soys. This is a 2-0. And I'm going to be using a 3 ring ringsoy. Works very well, yeah. It's nice and sharp, thin shank, strong hook. You get a pull, you're going to connect straight away. So, yeah. Also, the leader line is a 0.55 maxima. Uh, the clear, or well, yeah. So, that, the outer green, sorry. That works quite well, yeah, also for me. So, yeah, I stick to what works for me. What I've done here, guys. I've just taken two cutlets, two cutlets, put them together and I've just bound them up. Just bound them up with some cotton 
Make sure you use the thin cotton, not the thick cotton, the thin cotton. Just bind it. Put enough of cotton. And all you do is you just take your hook and you put it through the top here. You can even do that with a circle hook. That's all you do. That's it. It's not going to go anywhere because the cotton that are bound around it is actually holding it tight. You can do that. It works well with the circle hook also. I prefer J. What I've done basically, I've thrown as close as possible to that reef that runs out there. So the fish do come in and they patrol behind that reef and as the tide starts pushing a bit more, they will come a bit closer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work my way back. Hopefully that strategy is going to pay off. Seems to be, seem to have been working all the time we fished here. Yeah, now we wait. some small bites here. Could be pinkies or small shed. But it's a good sign. Oh, 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 oh. Check there. Woo! Okay, clean out of the water. Yo. Feel every bite with this rod. This tip is so sensitive. Guys, this power spin, the saltest power spin is awesome for this light tackle. It's a decent sized fish, it could be a nice sized eagle. And this uh, this 4000 with the 20 pound J braid. see guys he's got the three spikes uh, two spikes that's that's a danger pot that's a business end of this little baby so yeah stay away from that so they, they are coming in now so we're gonna get a couple of these eagle rays then I think a couple of blue rays are gonna come through so I'm just gonna put this guy safely back let him grow a little bigger Awesome on this light tackle. Perfect. Off to work, just come down, enjoy the sunset, have a couple of throws, catch a couple of these little thing, uh, skates. Perfect. Yep. My 3 0 ring soy did the job. Uh, switched on now, got the first fish on board. So yeah, getting a pull again. I think it's more stuff. There we go, here we go. Here we go. How was that? I just threw, went on. I think it's another eagle of the same size. This is called uh, the Cape Town shower. Not, we've got the Zululand shower, now we've got the Cape Town shower. Pure ring soy, perfectly in the corner. Guys, 
guys a simple chokka bait I just took a cutlet of chokka put it on the hook mashed it up a bit and just tied it with a bit of cotton that worked and on the bottom I've just got a, a chop of sardine nothing fancy guys nothing fancy actually done I've actually moved to the left a bit closer to these rocks here basically we've got three fish there and it's gone a bit quiet so they will move up looking for more warmer water closer to these rocks as it fills up so I'm gonna work my way a little bit more to the left I think my next throw if I don't get any I'm gonna move to the left a bit but then also it becomes a bit more foul there's a bit more rock all over there and our chances of getting stuck is actually greater so yeah There's a bit of rock here, I need to be careful. Now I told you they're going to move to the wall lift. On that. For better size. Another eagle. I think it's a little bigger, but it's quite feisty. Oh. This light tackle, it's awesome. Perfect. The chocker of the 2 0 ring soy, also perfectly in the corner. Number three, going for number four. Yeah, they seem to be loving the chopper. Nothing fancy. All I'm doing is just cutting up ropes like this. Taking my hook. Taking my hook through. With that guts and stuff. Small bait like that, guys. Fresh sardine, eh? Chunk of sardine. Make sure you use a thin cotton. I, I, see, I find that thin cotton works well for this type of a bait. All I do is just hook it. Like that. Dead low, they came on the bite. And I think yeah, as it's getting dark now, it's getting cooler, so the water is also cooled down a, a fraction. So it could, be, it could be gone now. But yeah, we had a nice time. I had a nice time. I had three fish. Better than going all the way to Spriovala and getting a suntan. This saltest power spin did the job today with the 4000 BG Maxi and the 20 pound uh, J braid. So yeah. That's what fishing is all about, buddy. That's what fishing is all about. Having fun. Yeah, guys, we've come to an end of an, of an awesome session today. Yeah, started off in Langerbahn, Spriovala, ended up here at the Strand, Shark Rock. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. I managed to land three of these uh, eagle rays. And um, yeah, it was slow in the beginning, but yeah, my mate opened the gate here. Yeah, he got the first eagle ray, and then I managed to get three after that. I was trying for the fourth one, but it didn't come. Anyway, we need to have an early night. It was an awesome day today. Weather was fine. My light tackle did the job. Mm -hmm.